Hi guys, Kings of ME here today um, with another tutorial video for you guys. Um, this one's going to be about port forwarding for an Apple Airport uh, router. Um, this type of port forwarding only works for Apple Airport routers. Um, there's a lot of different routers out there, so I understand that most of you won't have an Apple Airport uh, router. Um, I don't have any more other routers, so um, this is the only one I can show you guys. If you if this doesn't help you, try going on to uh, portforward.com. They have a lot of useful information there that will help you get done port forwarding. This is the main reason why a lot of you, uh, a lot of your friends and the public can't connect to your uh, to your servers right now. So um, I hope this helps. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Airport Utility. All right. So once you get to Airport Utility, double uh, well first off, find the um, router you want if you have more than one. Uh, then you're going to double click the one you want, so double click, and then this little window opens up. Then we're going to want to go to advanced, and then you want to click on port mapping here, and then uh, click this little plus button here. So you're going to click that, and then uh, you don't need to choose a service, and then what we're going to want to do for all these ports, there's four of them here, two, three, four, we're going to put in 25565 for all of them. All right. All right, just like that. All right, so two five five six five for all four of those. Then you need to check this IP address. Normally, this is not the IP address that your server is actually going to be running on. So this IP address should be the exact same IP address as the one that you have in um, where is it here? Server properties. All right. So these two IP addresses should be the same. And as you can see, for me, they're not. So I have to delete this part right there and put in a three because that's what it says there. All right. So once you check and make sure all that's done, uh, click continue, and then you can name it for the description. This is basically going to be the name, so you can just name it whatever you want. You know, I prefer you know naming it Minecraft because it's relevant. And then you got you don't have to worry about any of this. All right, so let's click done. But you're not done yet. So the next thing you need to do is click update. All right, and once you click update, it might take a minute or two, but uh, this updates and then it will actually be uh, forwarded. All right. And there it is right there. Let's make uh, let this load a little bit. And if we go to advanced again and go to port mapping, there's Minecraft right there. So let's get out of here. And then let's try opening up the server. So as you can see, it says starting Minecraft server on 10.1.3 for port 25565. And that's exactly what we want it to say, all right? If it says something like failed to bind a port or something like that, it probably either means... You didn't you didn't put in the right IP address here. You didn't put in the right port there. You don't have the right ports and server properties. Um, and sometimes, actually, your internet service provider will put a block on ports too. So you know, go on their website, find out who they are, and then you know, go on their website. You know, give them a call maybe and ask them if they put blocks and ports too. Because um, sometimes, for some people, they might actually have to port forward twice. Um, you know, on their one on their internet service provider's end and one on their actual router's end. So again, I know this only helps probably 1% of you guys out there. There's a lot of different uh, routers out there. Um, so, you know, if this isn't your router, you know, go on to uh, portforward.com and, you know, see if they can help you out there. All right? So thanks for watching, everyone. I just